Hello, in this video we're looking at how to create a label the activity, label the object activity using PowerPoint and Microsoft Forms. So I'm going to start off in PowerPoint. First off, I'm going to do is insert an image. So you may have taken an image of the object you want them to label, or you found one online. Obviously, beware of copyright when it's finding images online. So I'm going to choose an image from this device. So having found my image, this one has already got some arrows on it. Uh, you may want to get rid of some of the excess white area around the outside, so you can do that by clicking, right clicking and then choosing crop, and then you can use the black handles just to drag it in and edit that. And then right click again and hit crop and that will crop the image for you. So we've now got the image there. This one, as I say, has already got arrows, which means I can just position my letters by the arrows so students have a corresponding letter by which to add their label. So we've got those there. And you can see as it disappears, if you just go to Range, you should be able to bring it forward if I can remember where a range is. Here it is. So we'll bring to the front. There we are. And do the same with that one. And bring to front. Okay, so we've got our labels there. If, if you needed to add additional arrows, then you can do that using the insert and the shapes option. and you can position that arrow where you want it. You can also, using the shape outline, change the color and alter the weight so we can make it slightly thicker. So you could add additional arrows or add arrows to your component if you needed to. So having got that there, we can download as Uh, we're going to choose images and that will download it for us. Now it thinks it's multiple images, hence why it's downloaded a zip, but we can unzip that. Okay, so that's our image done within PowerPoint. So we jump to Microsoft Forms, we click to add new. I think the easiest way to do this is to add a section. So we're going to add a section and then in the section area we're going to add our image. So it will allow us to choose an image from, from Bing, OneDrive or Upload. I've got an image I'm going to upload. I can choose the labelled PowerPoint slide I downloaded as a JPEG. And then I've got edit image editing options there so I'm going to click on that one to make it full frame. And then in my description, I'm going to put and then I'm going to add a new and this time it's going to be a text based question. So the question will simply be label part A. I'm going to then duplicate that question and change that to B and then keep duplicating and C. Now you could differentiate it, you can make it multiple choice for each one and give them a range of choices so it's differentiated but I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to require them to answer each question I could put in extra information, subtitle or restriction, but I'm quite happy with all of that. When I'm ready, I can hit share. And I'll just have a quick look at what that looks like. So 
So there we have label parts. There's my diagram with the labels ABC, which I did in PowerPoint. Further down, they've got label part A, and they can put their answers in there. So there you have it a way to create a label, the object activity using Microsoft PowerPoint and Microsoft Forms. I hope you found that video useful. Please tune in, please subscribe and join me again for more EdTech videos very shortly.